months it's going to take for ISRO to ensure that Aditya L1 is at that particular point that they wanted at L1, and it's not going to stay still. It's going to be moving in a halo orbit around the L1 point. What's another massive accomplishment, another uh, feather in the hat of ISRO, is again how Aditya L1 is extremely cost effective, much like Chandrayaan 3, much like our previous projects. Aditya L1 essentially costs about $45 million. How does that compare to other similar solar projects? Take, for example, the United States, the Parker Solar Probe, which is at a cost of $1.5 billion. It will be closer to the sun, but this whooping cost, compare that, $45 million versus $1.5 billion. Then you have the Solar Orbiter, again at a similar cost of $1.5 billion. This too is by NASA, by the United States. The Advanced Composition Explorer, all of these, mind you, are missions tuned to the sun, focused on researching different parts of the sun. This is at $100 million. Again, let me remind you that the ISRO project is $45 million, a huge difference there. The Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory, again an observatory that's been set up, $500 million. Now remember that in our case it's an observatory satellite and that's at $45 million. Let's talk about the Solar Dynamics Observatory, that's again something NASA is working on. It's costing $850 million. All of these projects put together, it's mind-blowing, really, the amount of money that's being sent on just exploring the sun. There's another one, the Interface Region Imaging Spectrograph, which costs a whopping $120 million. United States and Japan, they're working together, collaborating on another observatory. It's the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, which is about $1 billion, pegged at that amount. Besides them, there's also the ESA, the European Space Agency, which is working on a solar mission, which is called the Europe Proba 3, $120 million. China hasn't yet sent out their sun uh, probing satellite, but they are planning to. And the budget for that is $126 million. Look at that full list. We are on double digits, $45 million. None of the other observatory satellites or for that matter any of the solar missions are even close to that figure. They're all in triple digits and beyond. And that again puts the focus on how much our satellites, uh, how much our scientists are really managing to accomplish here at such a minimal cost. Aditya L1, uh, make no mistake in your mind, is an extremely ambitious mission. NASA, the Japanese Space Agency, the EU Space Agency, ESA, they've all managed to carry out solar missions, and they're the only ones. Between the three of them, they've managed about nine solar missions, and now ISRO will be joining that elite space league. Aditya means the sun, and L1 is a point between Earth and sun that offers an uninterrupted view of the closest star of our galaxy, hence the nomenclature of the latest ISRO project. Sun is the main source of energy of this solar system and holds the biggest secret of this universe. Aditya L1 of ISRO is the first Indian attempt to study and understand the sun. Aditya will first be placed on Earth's centered orbit before embarking on a 150 million kilometer journey from Earth's sphere of influence to different viewing points around the Sun. It will be placed in a cruising position at L1 between the Earth's Sun system in the halo orbit. The temperature at the surface of the Sun is about 10,000 Fahrenheit or 5,600 degrees Celsius. So there's no way anything comes remotely close to its surface without burning down to unimaginable ash particles. So all sun missions are posted at different viewing points between the sun and the earth. These are called lag range points. These points are used by the spacecraft to station with minimal use of fuel while they continue to study the sun from a safe distance. There are a total of five lag range or L points. Aditya would be placed at L1 that lies between Earth and the Sun. Aditya L1 will carry seven payloads. Four of them will carry out remote sensing of the Sun and three others will do in situ observations. To understand changes in Earth's ecosystems, study ice mass, vegetation, 
biomass sea level rise. These observations and studies will help understand the groundwater of Earth and different natural hazards like earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanic eruptions and landslides. In total, nine solar missions have happened so far by countries like the US and the European Union to different lag range points of the Sun. Aditya L1 comes with the promise to open up a new galaxy of knowledge for India.